now let's go down to Dallas and Dan Rather. In Dallas, with Lee Oswald, the man accused of assassinating President Kennedy dead, the big question now is, what kind of man shot Lee Oswald, and why? We have in the studios of our affiliate station, KRLD-TV here in Dallas, Bill DeMar, who is a nightclub MC, a comedian by profession. Bill worked in the nightclub owned by Jack Ruby. Jack Rubistein is his real name, known in dollar circles as Jack Ruby. Bill, how long had you been working at the Carousel Club owned by Jack Rubenstein? Uh, this time, about two weeks. You had worked for him before, had you? Three times before. This is my fourth time here. The Carousel Club is located right in downtown Dallas. What kind of place is it? Well, it's a nightclub that has uh, about five or six exotic dancers and a whole combo. Is it a pretty rough place? No, no. Uh, there's a lot of people that have said to me when they came up to me after shows or between shows that they, they liked the place because it was intimate. What kind of man is Jack Rubenstein? Well, if you know him, he's a, he's a pretty good type guy. He uh, always treated me right, and we always got along real well. Uh, I consider him more of a friend than an employer. Is he an extrovert? Is he a handshaking, back-slapping, rather loud type person? In a way, yes. Yes. Uh, uh, kind of impulsive. He'd change from one thing to the other. On times, do things, you know, uh, out of the clear blue. You say rather impulsive? At times. Could you give us an example of what you would consider some impulsive action? Mm, no, his mind would, would uh, is always working, always going. And uh, he'd be uh, possibly talking to you about one thing, and then all of a sudden he'd take off about on something else. Is he married? No, he never has been, to my knowledge. It seems that he mentioned to me before, he never married, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. There have been some reports that uh, he came to Dallas from Chicago. Do you know anything about that? No, I don't. Does he have a police record of which you're aware? Not that I know of. Did it surprise you when you heard this morning that he possibly fired the shots which uh, wound up killing Lee Oswald? Definitely. I was very shocked and very saddened uh, that uh, Jack would even be involved. But uh, I don't know, the fact that he had closed the club so definitely like he did, uh, putting up a sign saying close and taking the pictures out of the front of the club and uh, not calling me, t notifying me that he had, had closed. Uh, he had somebody else call, but I never got the message. Now, when was this? He called when to tell you the club was closed? He didn't call me. I see. Uh, he had somebody else call me. When was this? Uh, Friday. Uh, when I'd heard about the news of the president, uh, I reluctantly got ready to go to work because I hadn't got the message that he had closed. Mm -hmm. They failed to deliver the message to me, and so I got ready to go to work and got down there and saw the sign on the front saying closed. I drove around the other two clubs. Uh, they were closed, but they had Does no notice. Does he own two more clubs in town? No, I, the, other, the other two uh, burlesque clubs that are near there. I see. Do you know anything about Jack Rubenstein's political philosophies? No, he never uh, spoke about anything when we go for breakfast afterwards or anything. The only thing he talked about was business. Did you ever hear him say anything about President Kennedy? Never. Do you know Lee Oswald? Have you ever seen him? To my knowledge, if I recollect correctly, I saw him in the audience last week. Lee Oswald in the audience at yes. the club, at the yes. Carousel yes. Club, which is owned by Jack Rubenstein? Yes. That would have been about how many days ago? Eight, nine. Do you remember the specific uh, instance? What, what happened with Oswald in the club? Was he simply in the audience? No, I was doing a memory routine, and uh, I use about 20 people in the audience and have them call out an object. And then at random, I call the objects back to them. Uh, whoever wants their object called first or saying whatever the case may be. And it seems to me uh, he was one of the people, uh, after seeing his picture in the paper, I remember seeing him in the audience as one of the people that uh, gave me an object. Did Jack Rubenstein speak with Oswald, to your knowledge? No, I didn't. I didn't see him. I don't think Jack even knew he was in there. You don't think Rubenstein knew that Oswald was in the club? It, it's such a strange coincidence that uh, he would be in the club. Do you think it possible that Rubenstein knew him? I don't think so. Uh, I don't know for sure. Mm -hmm. Could you possibly be mistaken about Oswald? 
Being in the club? Yes. Well, I don't know. I remember the face. And I do remember faces. In your own mind, you're certain it was Oz? Yes. Have you made an effort to see uh, Jack Rubenstein since the shooting this morning? No, I had thought about going down there now because, like I say, he's more of a friend than an employer, and I did want to see him. Before all this happened, would you have thought that Rubenstein was the type of man capable of such violence? No. No. Jack uh, acted uh, a little harshly sometimes, but uh, nothing like this. I wouldn't have thought he did anything like this. What do you mean he acted harshly sometimes in dealing well, with his employees? And, no, uh, with, with employees and sometimes customers. If they got a little out of hand, why, he was ready to put them out. Mm -hmm. Do you know whether he carried a gun on his person as a matter of general course? Uh, yes. Uh, he carried it in a bag when he went back and forth to work. What kind, Have you seen this pistol? Uh, yes, I saw it once uh, a little over a year ago, last time I was here. What kind of pistol was it then? A little sharp nose, a very small uh, little pistol. Mm -hmm. He only carried it when he went back and forth to work. You know? I never saw him on, carry it on him, you know, anything like that. Just in the bag as protection because he was carrying the money. We have a police photograph that I think we can pick up uh, on camera of the accused man, Jack Rubenstein. Let's see if we can get that uh, picture of Rubenstein on camera. We've been speaking with Bill DeMar, a professional entertainer who has been a master of ceremonies at the Carousel Club in downtown Dallas, a club owned by Jack Rubenstein. Uh, Bill, there have been some reports that Rubenstein did own, either now or sometime in the recent past, another club in town. Do you know anything about that? The Vegas. The old Vegas Club. Yeah, Is it still in operation? It was until he closed it because of the president's death. But uh, is, so far as you know, he did own that club in addition to the carousel. Yes. To my knowledge, uh, he did. Do you, do you ever recall seeing any unsavory uh, characters, uh, people that you might associate with the underworld around the club? No. No. Let's see now if we can uh, get the picture, the police picture of Jack Rubenstein. It's a profile and a head-on shot of the man accused of assassinating the man who was accused of assassinating President Kennedy. This is Dan Rather in Dallas, Texas, back now to Walter Cronkite in New York. 